Whoa, Marcus Conti reporting, calling the FBI. Calling the FBI. Thank you for calling the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, New York Division. This call may be monitored or recorded. Please listen to this message in its entirety. Para Español, o Prima El Siete. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. If you are calling to report an internet crime, please go to www.ic3.gov. If you are calling to report a federal crime, please press 3. If you would like to speak to an operator, please press 6. If you are a law enforcement official, press 6. Yes, hi. Um, I, I think I need somebody to uh, talk to about a possible, uh, about this possible explosion in Texas. Mm. I'm a reporter, and I was just doing a story. FBI New York. FBI New York, thank you. Uh, I, I think I have, um, I have a bit of a problem here. <laughs> I, I, I need somebody to help me sort it out. I'm a reporter. And I, uh, an internet uh, YouTube reporter, and I was doing a story today with a woman who, who we were doing something on death cults. It's a, a, a wild subject, but here's, here's the kicker. There's an explosion in Texas this morning in the port of, uh, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. And uh, the port of, what is this? The port of chemical plant blasts down in the port of something with an N. Where is it? Uh, Nietzsche's port, port of Nietzsche's, uh, an explosion happens early this morning, right? Sounds, sounds, doesn't, not a big deal, right? So, yesterday, she shows me a video of these two guys online, this guy online, planning uh, to blow up a port in Texas, right? I have the video, right? He's explaining. And he's what he's doing as well is he's he's throwing my name into the equation. Like this is some scary this scared the shit out of me when I just watched it, right? So I'm watching the video and I, I could play it. He explains how he's gonna take a drone and put a flamethrower on it, buy it on eBay, and fly it over the port of Corpus Christi and blow up an LNG tank. Right? Now it sounds like wild and wacky, right? Like the Wild West. But then I, I'm looking this morning, waiting for the woman to call in to do the show, and there's no answer. She's still not answering me. It's, she was supposed to call me at 11. I've emailed her now three times. It's 11.50. And here's the other part of it. You're still there, right? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. So she also says that it, the, the, the crazy guy in the video says that these two guys uh, from New York are going to come and tie you up. And, and hold you hostage and use you as a, some sort of, I, I could play you the video. I can't, I mean, it's, I couldn't even make it up. And how could I, how could he possibly have made this thing? Can you, can you listen to this? I'm gonna play. This is perfect. You know, I had this really crazy. You could hear that, right? Yeah. Crazy dream. It was really super <laughs> crazy. So there was this lady in Corpus Christi and she was all upset and anti-government because her daughter was murdered and it was never investigated. See, this is a movie plot. It's called Corpus Christi. Corpus Crispy. That's the name of the movie. So she's putting out all this stuff on social media about how much she hates the government. And there's these two jerks in New York City and one used to own a drone company and the other was a disgruntled worker for a trash company. And so they kind of picked up on her. These two guys made a lot of videos together. They hang out with each other. They shop together. Okay. Okay. I mean, I mean, it's heavy, it's right? Twenty four seven. What is it? Um, it's the National Threat Operations Center. Do you want me to? You want me to hang up and call it? Is it? All right. So what's the what's the number? One eight hundred. One eight hundred. Two two five. Two two five. Five hundred. Yeah. Two five five three two four. Two four. Okay. You you you. There's no way that you could. Um, there's no way that you could connect me, right? All right. I'll hang up and and that's. Oh, I can connect you right now. 
All right, please. I just I wanted to give you the number just in case. Okay, um, thanks. You're open 24/7. Let th me, th thank you for your help. You right now, okay, sir. All right, I'll start over. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, no, no. This is this is how we do it. Okay. So, no, All right. All right. One one moment. So that's that section for some. Uh, you know, I had this. Hello. Thank you for calling the FBI. This is not a 911 service for taking emergency calls. For emergencies, please call 911. Si usted desea escuchar este mensaje en español, por favor oprima el número uno. In a few moments, you will be connected to an operator. This call will be recorded for quality assurance, investigative or other purposes. If you do not wish to be recorded, please hang up and submit your tip online at tips.fbi.gov. During this call, you will be asked to provide identifying information about yourself and or the persons about whom you are calling. We use this information to assist in investigating your tip. You do not have to provide your name or other personal information. However, the lack of information may delay or hurt our ability to investigate your tip. Any information you provide may be used for authorized purposes. To report a suspicious email, hacked email, internet scam, or ID theft, press 1. To report a tip about threat to human life, serious bodily injury, or significant violent action, press 2. To report a tip on an FBI fugitive, press 3. Please provide the zip code of the area you are calling from now. 11209. I'm sorry, we did not get your response. Please provide... One moment while I transfer you to the next available representative. Your right. call will now be recorded. Okay. Thank you for calling the FBI. Can I have your first and last name? Yes, my first name is uh, Marcus, M-A-R-C-U-S, Conti, C-O-N-T-E. And your date of birth? February 29th, 1964. What is your phone number, sir? Um, what what zip code are you calling from? One one two zero nine. Okay. What is the federal violation you're reporting? All right. So here's here's the deal. So this morning, right? There's an explosion in a Texas plant, right down in in the port of somewhere, port of port of Nietzsche's, N E C H E S, Texas. An explosion at a TPC chemical plant. Right, so I'm a reporter. Right? I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm waiting for someone to call me. Right? I'm waiting for someone, I'm waiting to do a report, to do a one-on-one uh, -on -one interview about some, uh, a, a kind of a related subject. Right? And yesterday, yesterday, a man makes a video online and posts the video right, with the plan to blow up a port in Texas. And then, but before he does that, he's going to tie up the lady and, and uh, you know, and, and I don't know what he's going to do with her after he ties her up. And so, so I, and I have the video. I watched the video yesterday. I was like, this is crazy. The guy's, the guy's a psychopath, right? And I could play yeah. it for you if you want to hear it. I'll, I'll play it. Where was the video at, you said? The video was on YouTube. And who was the individual that posted it? Uh, I believe uh, the voice in the video, his name is David Acton, David uh, Schwaggert, Swaggert, he goes by, David Acton, David Swaggert, I believe he's in California, he was. Okay, I mean, so he posted a video on YouTube that there was going to be an explosion in Texas before the explosion occurred? It, not in so many words. Can, may I play you the recording so that you can hear it and it could be on the record? I'll play it to you if you like. 
It's the well, easiest. That's fine, sir. I'm just trying to get a better understanding of yeah. what you're interpreting it. To me. Yeah, I'm interpreting as here he is telling telling this woman about his dream that that he's going to take a that a uh, he's going to take a drone with a flamethrower on it in the cor uh, in Corpus Christi and fly it over a tanker and blow it up and take out three miles of space. Yesterday he said this. And I'm watching the news right now, and I'm watching flames, explosion, not in the same port, right? The port of, of Corpus Christi is, I guess, I don't know, it's miles away, right, in Texas. The other one is Nietzsche's, Nietzsche's or something. It's a scary thing. I mean, and there's also other things. She has... There's actual, um, like, conversations where she reported it in Texas. She reported it after she saw the video. Now, the other thing is that she said that... What in, is her name? Her name is uh, Denise Matow. Denise Matow. Can you spell her last name? <sighs> I could try. Um, okay, so she reported it after having seen that? She, I, yeah, I believe she reported it. She also showed me two, some kind of threads, some kind of uh, phone conversations. She says, the man in the video is the same D. George Swaggart who emailed Nusas County demanding hurricane relief records. Tonight, he was in a chat posting methods of blowing up the port. DHS was notified while he did it. I, the next one is... The man in the video is D. George Schwager. Your office received email from him. His brother was arrested for the 2017 evacuation of the Port of Charleston, South Carolina. They are blackmailing me. That's what she's saying, right? And and I could I'll play it for you. Here, you, would you like to hear the, the damn video? Because this is you'll hear it in his own words, and I won't have to explain it three times. This is what I've had since yesterday, right? And I'm still waiting for her to to. Uh, I, I, she was supposed to call into my show at 11 o'clock and, and it's now 12 o'clock and in the video they're saying they're going to tie her up two guys from New York are going to tie her up okay spell the last name you said Swaggart or Schwaggart oh yes um, I can get you that spelling S-W-E-I-G-E-R-T he goes by D. George Schwaggart S W E I G E R T. He also goes by David Schwagger, Dave Schwagger. Also goes by David Acton, Dave Acton. Okay. Well, I have 35 or 50 videos of him attacking me personally, calling me, you know, identifying himself. There's in, in, un, undoubtedly it's him. No doubt about it. He doesn't say, hi, my name is George. Dave, this is George David Swaggart. But it's, it's okay. inescapably his voice. Are you able to actually just provide me with the URL to the video rather than me trying to hear it over your phone? Because there seems to be... You will a, hear it. You will, tr trust, you will hear it. Can I, can I just interject? You will hear it crystal clear because I'm going to put the mic... I'm going to put it up to the... I'm going to put the phone right to the speaker and you will hear it. Ready? <laughs> This is perfect. You know, I had this really crazy I, I, dream. I'm at YouTube. I now have the, the spot of the uh, video. It seems that it's an unlisted. It's un, the, the, the video itself is unlisted. And it says, my dream about Corpus Christi movie. Right? It's 228 views published yet, uh, on November 25th. So it was maybe two days ago. The URL to the video is a very long and stupid uh, URL. May I read it to you? So it's uh, http forward slash forward slash, uh, you know, semicolon slash slash uh, U O U Y O U, excuse me, Y O U T U dot B E forward slash nine S F underscore. Z C G Q Z F A. Okay. See if you can get it if you pop it up. Okay. And then the www. 
No www. No, I'm not looking at any www. HTTPS okay. semicolon slash slash forward slash forward slash. Got it. Y O U T U dot B E forward slash nine S is in Sam, S is in Frank underscore Z, C is in cat. Z. E. No, 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 stop. Z is in zoo. Underscore Z as in zoo, C as in cat, G, George, Q as in queen. Right. Okay. Z, zebra. Right, that's, that's what I have. F, a, F, Zebra, a. cat, George, queen, zebra, Frank, Adam. Correct. Now, okay. everybody, it's Dave. Welcome back to our hypothetical and theoretical analysis of those legal issues that we have a scholarly interest in. No matter how illogical and incomprehensible. So I'm uh, doing some work on the trailer. And I have to admit that all the solar stuff went to that side because that's where the power cutover switch is. So when I'm hooked up to what they call shore power, when you're on commercial AC power electricity, then it will automatically switch all the circuits to AC shoreline power. That's called shoreline power, shore power, docking, whatever. So there's a little bit of this mystique of the maritime community because it's sort of like a boat. You know, you have the same electrical systems as a boat. A lot of the parts and pieces that you can get are boat parts and pieces. And this switch right here is actually a boat switch. But I can turn on the inverter okay you see now we have inverter now we have commercial power if I pulled the plug on commercial power then what would happen is it would all automatically switch over to battery power yeah the battery inverter so that's that section and then we're just charging up some tools right now for some uh, work tomorrow. And over here I can, hey, I can make notes. <laughs> this is perfect. You know, I had this really crazy dream. It was really super crazy. So there was this lady in Corpus Christi and she was all upset and anti-government because her daughter was murdered and it was never investigated. See, this is a movie plot. It's called Corpus Christi. Corpus Crispy. That's the name of the movie. So she's putting out all this stuff on social media about how much she hates the government. And there's these two jerks in New York City. And one used to own a drone company. And the other was a disgruntled worker for a trash company. And so they kind of picked up on her. These two guys made a lot of videos together. They hang out with each other. They shop together. And so they said, hey, we could exploit her. We could exploit her. This is just in the dream. It was a dream. And so I'm like, how do you want to exploit her? Well, the LNG, liquid natural gas tankers, go right by her house in Corpus Christi. They go right by her house. And these two guys are thinking to themselves, we could go down there and kind of hold her hostage and use her house as a command post. And I know it gets pretty bizarre thinking about somebody like Denise. I mean, she's a cutout. I'm not saying it is Denise. This is hypothetical, theoretical. Any similarity to any real people is purely coincidental. But can you imagine her tied up in a chair with a handkerchief around her mouth going, Rrr! with all these cockroaches call crawling all over her? Man, I mean, ugh, the audience would just be shrieking, right? So one of these guys brings his drone down that has a flamethrower on it. And if you look on eBay, you can buy flamethrower drones. So what they do is when this tanker's coming and they have these little towers on it, the drone flies out and goes to the control tower. It freaks out the pilot and he runs the ship aground. He just steers out of the way because the flame frightens him because if there's any vapors around those LNG tanks, boom, it's three mile instant destruction. If this thing goes up, oh, let's take a look at the rest of the, it's all going to get cleaned up, folks. It's all going to get cleaned up. Anyway, if an LNG tanker goes up, 
for three miles, everything's gone. Now, if there's no explosion, the cloud, the gas cloud will kill everything for a mile and a half. So if this thing was a mile and a half to the command post, or that would be the cockroach, cockroach headquarters. If that's a mile and a half away, just the gas alone would kill all the cockroaches. Isn't that a strange dream? It was a dream. It was a very strange dream. Who are these two guys? And why would they want to fly a drone with a flamethrower? And why does this guy from the trash company being so nice to this lady? It's because they want to use her house as a command post. That's what's going on, folks. It's a dream. It's a dream. I think it'd make a great movie. What do you think? Okay, so are, are you able to provide an address and a phone number in case anyone would need to reach you about what you're reporting? Sure, sure. All right, sir, well, I'll get this information documented for you, and if anyone has any questions, they'll be in touch with you, okay? 